Okay, so this is my second batch of sauerkraut for the season. I didn't record my first batch, but um, so we have uh, cabbage, um, which is looking, uh, starting to look very white this time of year. <coughs> um, here I have the grater, um, which is, I can't hold this and show you, but you basically run it over here and you get um, grated cabbage like this. Uh, works very well. I bought one of these in the United States and it was, uh, I think it was $40 on Amazon. Much bigger, much fancier, made in Wisconsin by Germans kind of a thing. I think it was 40 or $45. This cost me here, cost me I think six. <clears throat> Typical for Ukraine. Uh, simple, works really well. Um, now this is the fermenting crock you've seen for pickles. And if you look in here, you can see uh, the first half cabbage is all shredded up in there. Now, I held on to some juice from the first batch, uh, which was in this jar here. Uh, you can see a little bit of juice left in there. Um, and that is the, uh, that has the bacteria, the lactobacillus in it, that's going to get this fermenting very quickly. Uh, now, when you shred it, you add salt. This is non-iodized salt, and I add, uh, where's my teaspoon? Um, here it is. So I added a, kind of a level teaspoon of salt for about a half a head of cabbage. Now, that's a big head of cabbage. This is a quarter of a head of cabbage. So for about half cabbage, I put about a teaspoon of salt. So you... you Stamp that down to pack it in real tight to force the juice out. And then if you don't have the juice rising up above the cabbage, you can add a little bit of water. <clears throat> but you definitely want it all to be submerged um, because it's the um, that's what causes fermentation is the lack of oxygen. So, uh, And then uh, this is uh, something I made for my first batch. This is some... Uh, Sauerkraut and uh, sausage. Um, the sausage that, that they have here is a lot like Polish sausage. It's a lot like the kielbasa we get in the United States. Uh, and then actually also um, when I make bacon, I save the bacon fat. You can see that in this little jar right here. So uh, I either take a little bit of that bacon fat or a little bit of bacon and kind of get that going and Put that in there too so the good news is it's low carb and um, they're discovering that actually uh, a good amount of fat in your diet's a good thing so I'll let uh, you guys read the internet and read the debate and controversy about all that so uh, that's kind of the process for uh, fermenting uh, sauerkraut um, it'll ferment since I put the starter in there it'll be pretty quick it'll ferment for about oh maybe four or five days and then I'll put it in the fridge and we'll have fresh sauerkraut. And I make this all winter long because um, I like the fresh sauerkraut. I'm not a big fan of the uh, um, uh, canned sauerkraut, especially the vinegar sauerkraut. So anyway, uh, that's all. Talk to you later.